there, foolish mortals, and welcome to another episode of Blue Sky Beauty. I'm your host as always, Victoria Fox, and this month we are going full Halloween with a Constance Hatchaway look. Now she is definitely, I would say, one of my favorite characters in Disney lore, um, and you may know her as the bride from the Haunted Mansion. So my makeup today is kind of a meshing of the character that you can meet at Disneyland, her kind of like simple, pretty makeup and then a little bit of creepy from my end on that one. So, let's get chopping. First, we're going to apply foundation all over and then set it with a good setting powder. For my setting powder here, I'm using Crown Brushes Banana Powder. I'm now filling in my eyebrows with some dark brown eyeshadow. We're going for a dramatic look here, so don't be afraid to go for a more defined shape. Here I'm placing a light gray color like Urban Decay's Harajuku with a small fluffy brush and applying it generously to my lids. Now add a darker gray to the edges of your eyes, focusing its main concentration on your crease. Blend thoroughly and add that same color to your upper and lower lash lines with a small detail brush. Using a reddish brown shadow, I'm accenting my eyes on their inside corners, blending it with the other colors I've already used on my eyes. Clean up the edges of your shadows, and don't forget to add a little shimmer to your inner corners and brow bone. Apply your favorite mascara and gear up for some contouring. Using a contour brush and light gray contour color, accentuate your cheekbones, temples, nose, neck, and chest. Don't forget the under eyes for a tired and demented look. Blend all of those shapes you made in the last step with a fluffy brush. 
Here I also made any additional changes to my contour to make it just perfect. Highlighting is crucial to selling this look. Apply a bright white shadow, a little shimmer also doesn't hurt, to pretty much any area that is not contoured dark. The purpose of this is to make the original lines you made stand out even more. Here I'm using Urban Decay's Blonde. Add a rosy blush to just the apples of your cheeks. Add a little more than normal so that it stands out above your contour. After your cheeks, you'll want to apply your lips. Here I mixed up a red lip color and a nude lip color and applied them. The beautiful thing about makeup is being able to experiment and change your mind. I stumbled across a deeper purple lip, so I decided to apply it over my current lipstick. I was pretty pleased with the result. To be a little extra dramatic, I took some black Meron Paradise paint and a thin brush to simulate some black tears down my cheeks. Make sure to water it down good so that it's easier to make the streaks. And a little subtlety here is nice. Don't do too much. Here's the fun part, the blood. Using a brush with larger bristles, spatter blood onto your face using some alcohol activated paints. These are easy to dilute so that you can achieve a large blood spatter. As you can see, I concentrated it onto a certain section of my face. Concentrating it instead of just spattering your entire face gives you a little more of a backstory. Just be mindful of your surroundings when doing this. My poor white curtain is now very much blood spattered.
and you're ready to go. Dead gorgeous, if you ask me. Well, here is our finished look. Pretty killer, if I say so myself. Now, thank you so much for joining me and for watching this video. If you have any requests for future videos or any ideas, you can please drop them in the comments below. I hope you're having a great Halloween season, and who knows, I might have a Halloween surprise out by the end of the month. See you next time.